Okay, watch this flame here. All right, folks, we're back again here in the evening to look at the uh, ability of the torch and how it responds to plasma. I hope you can see the flame. It looks like you can. Okay, this is a pyrometer right here, and it measures temperature. I've got the high temperature probe on the back of a razor blade here touching it and with the flame here I'm going to uh, administer heat to the side opposite the uh, sensor. The plasma that is in the constitution of this gas allows us to receive a lot of BTUs, a lot of heat from this flame the ability to dissolve metal and uh, things like that it has uh, some of those abilities but not as much primarily the flame has been softened uh, and what we're going to do now is look at how hot we can make this without using any type of petroleum bubbler or think just using water so as I heat it up right here, I'll try to not dissolve my probe like I've done before. We're up to 650, 700, 800, 900, 1000. At 1100. Okay, I'm going to stop now because this is uh, my probe here and uh, it could probably take a little more heat, but I think you get the point. Uh, 1400 degrees is not uh, hard to reach. It, uh, it hit that very well. Uh, they tell us that a pure HHO flame is roughly 277 degrees Fahrenheit. With the ability to meter this gas, we have uh, a lot more options and possibilities what we can do with this gas. All right, uh, we've seen what the plasma did to uh, the razor blade as far as building up heat. Now we're going to look what uh, HHO flame can do to the same type of razor blade. And we have a hole punched through it immediately. And it's burning up on the other end. Alright. Well, I think you can see the uh, difference how it instantly dissolved metal and how we were able to raise heat the razor blade that we used on the plasma uh, is this one right here and there was a little bit of scorching to it but there was no hole burned through it see it go to town now. I hope we're catching some of those unique colors. They're going to look at something that uh, can take the HHO flame and not melt. This is a seashell. And if you 
hit it with the flame, it turns into a light bulb. <laughs> it is one of the few things that smack crackles and pops, but it doesn't uh, seem to disintegrate. It flakes off a little bit, but it's very, very bright. And you can see must be one of them calcium things. Um, this little piece I'm hitting right here is what's left of the penny that I was working on earlier. We'll go back here and uh, as you can see it's getting red hot. <laughs> 